Stockpiles for those who need it most. So this yeah, yeah. is for emergency relief and for all of our um, shops as mm. well. With much of the focus on the government's handling of the first juvenile death in custody, the Premier was emphasising his team's support for the most vulnerable. A hallmark of my government is to keep the Western Australian economy strong and to help those who are doing it tough. Up to $5,000 to pay rent arrears and stave off eviction for people who've fallen through the cracks. For some, it will also cover up to 50% of future rent for up to three months. We don't want them to go out on the street. We don't want them to be evicted. We want to keep them in the rental, uh, in the rental system. But with Perth's rental vacancy rate at near record lows, homelessness is a real risk. There's nothing surer than if you lose your accommodation now, you're in a world of pain. Critically, under the rent relief scheme, landlords must also agree to continue the tenancy for at least three months. This is not going to work for everybody, but for the vast majority of landlords who want continuation of their tenancy, who want to know that there is support to, to ensure that there's not a risk that rent won't be paid, this is the model for them. The program is expected to help around 13,000 West Australians struggling from the high cost of living. Vinnie's receives more than 350 calls a day across the state from people in need and the demand is increasing. So they and other social welfare organisations see this scheme as a way of keeping a roof over people's heads and preventing more homelessness. Organisations like Vinnie's and Anglicare will identify tenants in need and help them apply. I wish you all the best, JD. It'll make an enormous difference to some of the most vulnerable people that we see in our organisations. The scheme begins next month. Nick Perpich, ABC News.